Welcome everyone to our virtual lab on antibiotic resistance. This video will tell you how to access the lab, how to activate it on your computer, and how to use the tools in it. Now you'll be working from a link on Verge or in a Google Doc. I don't have that link set up yet, so I'm going to just take you to the link directly. Same link that you would use. All right, so when you click on that link, most of you, if you don't have it flash enabled on your computer, are going to get a screen like this that says Adobe Flash Player is blocked. And I will tell you that while I'm recording this on my laptop, I did the same process on my Chromebook. This is the exact same process that works on a Chromebook. So it should work for you. Okay. So let's say your Flash Player is blocked. You're going to come up to this little puzzle piece with a red X on it right here. You're going to right click and then select Manage. Okay. That will take you to this screen. On this screen, on this um, line that says block sites from running Flash, you're going to hit this toggle button, which will switch it to ask first. Now, Flash isn't going to just run automatically on sites, but it literally will ask you first. So let's go back to our lab site. Now you can see that it says click to enable Adobe Flash Player. We click, and this box up here pops up that asks if, asks if we want to allow or block it. We're going to allow Flash to run, and our lab comes up. Now, I will tell you this lab is probably older than most of you are. It's got some typos in it. So we are not going to use the information here or here or these tools down here. We're just going to use the lab tools so that you can simulate what it's like to do an experiment like this in the lab. Another thing, this lab has some really strange sounds associated with it. I highly encourage you to turn off your volume while you are doing this lab, but not right now because you're still watching the video and learning how to do it. So two warnings. All right, let's get started. So you'll notice in your lab directions, the first thing you need to do is create a lawn of bacteria. You're going to do this right here. This is called an auger plate when it is full of that jello -y stuff called auger. Um, and we need to create a lawn on it. So we're going to click on one of these bacteria. Let's start with a staph aureus. Okay, a sterile loop goes into the bacteria and is then is used to swab the bacteria over the surface of the plate. When this grows, it will create a lawn or a full covering of bacteria over the surface of the plate. We now have paper discs soaked in different kinds of antimicrobial agents, including one that is a control, our sterile filter paper discs. So we need to drag and drop these onto the plate. Now, I found that while clicking on things works pretty well in this lab, um, if you've got a touch screen, the drag and drop does not seem to work as well on a touch screen. So just be aware that you may have to use a mouse or the touchpad for this instead of your touch screen. Okay, we've dragged and dropped all seven of our disks on there. We now need to put our auger plate into the incubator where it'll be kept at about body temperature. So we put it in the incubator by clicking on the incubator. You then need to turn the incubator on. It will run for an imaginary 24 hours, and then you click the incubator again, and you get to see your plate. So what are we seeing here? The white disks are those paper disks that came from the vials, each one of which was soaked in some kind of antimicrobial agent or sterile water, if it's this one. The blue represents bacteria, okay? This whole thing is the lawn of bacteria growing all over the surface of the plate. These tan zones are then our zones of inhibition. These are places where whatever is on these um, discs, so in this case disinfectant, in this case bleach, these um, zones of inhibition are where those items have killed the bacteria, okay? And the larger the radius around the disc, the more effective it was at killing bacteria. The smaller the radius, the more the bacteria was resistant to that agent, all right? So instead of just eyeballing this, we're going to collect some data. We'll do that by selecting this ruler down here and then dragging it up to our auger plate. So to measure these zones of inhibition, what you're going to do is drag the ruler to the edge of the paper disc, okay? Um, and then measure from the edge of the paper disc to the edge of the zone of inhibition. So on disc number four, which is our household disinfectant, it looks like we have a zone of inhibition of about 13 and our units are millimeters. So 13 millimeters for that one. Um, if we come to disc number five, it looks like we have about three, okay? And that's our penicillin. What about this one with no zone of inhibition? Well, there's no zone of inhibition, so it's going to be zero millimeters. So we would then record this information in our data sheet um, and then hit all of the, once we've measured all of them, we'd record it and then hit reset. And it's time to move on to the next bacteria. 
Now, and you do the same steps with the next two bacteria, but there is something I want to show you with these. With Haemophilus influenzae, right, and I'm just going to put one disc on this one to make it simple. So let's say we just put one disc on, put it in the incubator, incubate it real quick, bring it back out. You can see that the lawn for Haemophilus is yellowish or a pale yellow, but the zone of inhibition, the area where the bacteria was killed, is still tan. What about for strep pneumoniae? All right, so we've got our lawn. Let's put some soap on, incubate it, bring it back out, okay? So our lawn for streptococcus pneumoniae, at least in this virtual lab, looks like kind of a light lavender mauve color. So, um, and the zone of inhibition is still tan. So once you've done all three um, and recorded your data for all three, you would then go on to answer some of the analysis questions in the lab. So hopefully that helps you get started on this lab and um, yeah, good luck.